Full disclosure, if you've never seen The Local Nine until now, this show in its purest form boils down to where the D-backs like to eat. So in that spirit, how do you do that with a player who basically only goes to one place? Yes, thank you. Fuck the child power. Out of way. Yes, Eduardo Escobar and his photo power have been well documented since his days with the Twins. And yet, there is more to chew on with the seemingly always happy Venezuelan as he makes a home here in the valley. Eduardo, I, I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Have you ever had a bad day? Bad day. Now you are always smiling. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I need a bad day. I no. think it's normal. Everybody got a bad day in their life, you know? I just get a sense, though, that you realize how fortunate you are to do what you do for a living and you enjoy every second of it. Am, am I right about that? Every day, I wake up in the morning and open my eyes, you know? I think it just gives me an opportunity, you know, working for something in my life, you know? So that's why I be happy every day, you know? Because it's, it's hard when your you eyes not open anymore. You don't have a chance, but when your eyes open again, you had a, another day opportunity walking home for where you like it. I'm going to remember that. Let's talk about your family and your kids. Yeah. Name them all for me. <laughs> so my daughter is Isadora, 1, 5, 15. 15. Yeah, 15. Uh, Diego, Diego, 13. Raul, have a 10. Eduardo Junior, have a 8. Emmanuel, have a 4. Yeah, so my wife is equity. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of busy. I started early, but now I'm done. <laughs> but, <laughs> you can't have a quiet moment. There's no way. Nah, Not nah, a chance, right? Nah. But, you know, I'm so happy. I'm so blessed. And you'll never go hungry. You started working when you were seven years old, right? Yes, yes. Because, you know, it's why I never forgot where it's coming from, you know. El de la Pica is my little town when grow, you know. Mm -hmm. For me, a lot of people help me when, the, when the have seven years and not having nothing. So I'm poor, I'm poor family, you know. Mm -hmm. I started working early in my life. I never forgot what people help me when I don't have nothing, you know. So why I do it starting my foundation, why I help, I help a lot of people. All right, tell me about your shoes. How many shoes do you have? <laughs> a lot. A lot? <laughs> you even know how many? No, yeah, but uh, almost more than 200 shoes. <laughs> a lot. Oh, uh, maybe 190 Jordan shoes. A lot, I have a lot because I'm a big fan. You know, you know, see the, the fan baseball, like baseball player, when I'm a big fan Michael Jordan. How did that happen? I don't know, you know, I'm a big fan Michael Jordan. So now I got an opportunity to get my old clothes and everything is from Jordan because I love him. Have you ever met him? No, never. I'm probably every day she said one piece in it with Michael Jordan. But you never. want to get a picture of Michael Jordan? Selfie? Yes, yes, yes. Let's talk about food. You, you're not, I don't think you're going to speak to me. I've never been to Fogo de Chao. <laughs> I know you. Well, I recommend to you. We so. drove by one on our hotel the other day, right? On the road, and everyone started yelling out your name. So if I do go in there, what should I order? Order for me. Well, OK, I want to recommend to you picanha, the special picanha, okay. uh, alcatra. The, the food over there is so nice, really good. You enjoy it, you will like it. But for me, my part is, the how much people humble working over there, you okay. know, because it's most important. You, know? you go over there, everybody take care of so nice to you. So that's why I like it. Is there another place that you go in town? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> how about breakfast? Are you a breakfast guy? Nah, no. because uh, sometimes I take a coffee in the morning and yeah. wake up at 10, 10, 30, 11, and take a coffee, you know, so only coffee. Sometimes, not too much breakfast, but when I'm breakfast, arepa, Venezuela arepa, okay. uh, eggs, okay. uh, ham and cheese, you okay. know, it's the pen, but I'm more going to take a lunch, everything. Coffee, what kind of coffee? Black coffee. Black. Yeah, or one meal, let's say. Yeah. One a day? Or yeah, day? yeah, depends. I, I, I'm a coffee guy, you know, so I take it maybe in the morning when I come into the field, okay. you know, but when I go to the Starbucks, I take a vanilla latte with cream. It's my favorite with that. Of course you do. <laughs> We ask this of everybody, if they could bring something from their hometown here. So if there's one thing that you could bring from your hometown to that, that, to that everyone could enjoy, what would it be? A restaurant. Venezuela restaurant. Really? Yeah. So I want to think about it. I want to open a restaurant here. You're going to go head to head with Fogo de Chao? Yeah. How <laughs> no, could you no. do that? I never, I never, I never going to change Fogo de Chao. Never. Okay. But, okay. you know, Fogo de Chao is different than Venezuela food. <laughs> 
before we go, do you have do you have basketball cards of Michael Jordan? Oh, um, a big a lot of them. Uh, yes, I'm okay. having uh, So I brought this from my house. Okay. Do you want to do something with me? Okay. These are from 1994-95. Uh, They've never been opened. Okay. I have no idea if there's one in here. Do you want to try it? Yes. He's actually on the cover of one of them. So here we go. Let's open some cards. What do you think the chances are? <laughs> I, I say not good. <laughs> I haven't done this since I was 18 or 15 or 12, but. So you never opened it. Not these. No. Right, here we go. You got it. Correct. Tree Rollins. Tim Brew. The bro, Tony me. It's not going well. No, Armand <laughs> Gilliam, the late great Armand Gilliam. Oh, a keen oh, Here we go. Come on. <laughs> Come on. No way. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> you did it. Yeah, the best guy. Look. I can't believe it. Yeah. I can't believe it. I'm so happy you got that card. Do you have that card before? Have you ever had that I, one? I, I have a book, Michael Jordan, in my house. Okay. I don't know, maybe, I don't know, bro. Is... You want that, right? Yes. Okay, yes. take it. Thanks, Eduardo. Thank That's you. really cool. I can't believe it. Next up, the hometown kid who joined the Local 9 after circling the globe. But first, a little taste of Local 9's past. Coffee guy? Coffee, absolutely. Starbucks. Starbucks. All the way. And yeah. what do you order? A grande bold, no room. What is that? Uh, it's the stiffest coffee that you have, okay. that they have. Uh, it gives me a good push to start the day. And I don't want any room at the top. I want to take that first sip and feel, feel the warmth of the coffee. Oh, yeah. All day? Oh, all yeah. night? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anywhere you go, Dutch Brothers, Starbucks. The local carrying machine. Oh. I do have a coffee machine that uh, is pretty easy to make coffee. Uh, you figure if it's not brewing, that it's because you haven't put the coffee container in there or there's yes. no water in the side canister. Yes, yes. Pretty much Randy proof. Do you drink coffee? No. Tea? A tea, yeah. What kind of tea do you like? Black tea. Black tea or Japanese tea, green tea. Really, I, I go to Starbucks. I, honestly, my kids go to Dutch Brothers all the time. Do. I just, uh, I haven't been able to make myself wait in line to get that, you know, to get a coffee. So I just recently purchased a Jura Z6. It's a big purchase for me, but I, I <laughs> what, what the hell is that? It's a, it's an automatic brewing coffee machine. I thought it was a car. No, I yeah, was yeah. like, what? Yeah, it, it, well, it could be. <laughs> At some point in time, I'll stop through Starbucks and get my wife a coffee, and I'll usually get myself one as well. When they ask for your name, do you tell them Willie? Never. What do you give them? Oh, I give them, uh, Rick James uh, is my favorite one that I give them. Um, okay. You know, I'll give them some other ones. A lot of times I'll give them the liberty to just, so you choose the name for me. And they look at me like, so what do I look like? And you write it on the cup and then I'll come and get it. So, How did I know that you didn't give them Willie? <laughs> Never. There have been just five D-backs who played high school and college baseball in Arizona. And even in that group, Merrill Kelly's story stands alone. After four years in Korea, the former Desert Mountain, Yavapai College, and Sun Devil pitcher has come full circle, now at age 30, a major league rookie in his home state. And he was absolutely sensational for seven and two thirds. Listen to this ovation for Merrill Kelly. What part of Scottsdale was home? Uh, the neighborhood I actually grew up was uh, called Stonegate. Stonegate. It's right off of, if, you're, if anybody's familiar with the area, mm -hmm. it's like 110th Street and uh, Mountain View. Where's home now, the area, generally speaking? Uh, just about five minutes down the street from where my parents were, um, 101 and Shea, basically. So, to be here, starting here, have yeah. you wrapped your head around that at all? Yeah, finally. It took me a little while to do that, um, but once we kind of got into the season routine mm -hmm. and waking up in my own bed, you know, like I did this morning, and just driving down the street, um, it's, it's been cool. High school baseball was where? Here. And Desert Mountain? Yeah. What do you remember most about that? Making to the state championship and losing, honestly. <laughs> uh, I left with a two to two game, um, and then we gave up a, one. I'm pretty sure we went into extras from what I remember is the eighth inning, we gave up a home run in the top of the eighth, uh, and then we never scored it in the bottom. What year was that? 07. Still lingers. If somebody asked me about it, yeah. It was but, right there, yeah, though. Yeah. But that's probably what comes to my mind. Other than, you know, other than the guys that I played with, you know, the guys, the few people that I talked to from high school, um, you know, the, 
a decent amount of them were guys that I played with. Let's go to Yavapai. The best. What a cool little hideaway, right? Yeah, yeah. What's the, the biggest memory that you have of that time in your life? Just having fun. Yeah. Like those two years, um, you know, people ask me if I were to go back, would I do it again? Would I go to a junior college or, you know, would I have done a little bit better in high school to uh, provide myself the opportunity to go to a D1 out of high school? Mm -hmm. um, and the, the answer is mixed, I guess, you know, if I were to go back, yeah, if I, if I did a little bit better, my parents probably would have been a little, <laughs> little happier with me at the time. Um, but if I were to go back, I wouldn't change anything about it. Then to Tempe, I mean, this yeah. is, you're setting yourself up, aren't you? But it's Trying still, to, at yeah. least. It's actually kind of a funny story how I ended up at ASU. Uh, it's kind of some workings outside of, of myself. I have a good friend named Riley Welch, uh, mm -hmm. who's the son of the late Bob Welch. Yeah. You know, pitched forever. Yep. Um, went to high school with both his kids. Um, they ended up being close with, with Pat Murphy. Yeah. Um, and I just remember sitting in my dorm and, and Riley texted me and said, hey, you know, expect the call from Pat Murphy in five minutes. Because I was actually about to commit to U of A. I'd Where gone on a visit to U of A. Um, I was considering them or actually UCF, University of Central mm -hmm. Florida. Okay. Um, and somehow, you know, I <laughs> don't know how, but uh, he said, expect the call from Murph in five minutes. And, you know, I kind of looked at it and said, okay, like, let's see if you actually have that much pull. And sure enough, five minutes later, the phone rang and it was Murph and uh, kind of the rest is history. All right, let's talk uh, about the state of Arizona very quickly from here. Have you experienced the, the breadth of the state outside of the baseball park you explore here? Uh, I do to an extent. Um, people probably look at me a little weird when I tell them I've been here for 15 years and I've never been to the Grand Canyon. Not for um, <laughs> I've never been up there. Um, Antelope Canyon is somewhere that I've always okay. wanted to go to. But you know, growing up, it was pretty much either school or sports. Yeah. Um, never really got time. I wasn't really a part of that group that got to go to the lake You're on you know Lake Havasu for the fourth and that type of stuff. I was you know usually busy. Been here 32 years, and I just went to Monument Valley, so I feel pretty. Okay, yeah, nice. I get it. Nice. All right, let's talk food. I'll get you out of here. You a coffee guy? Big time. All right, what do you Big drink time. and where? Um, I, well, I have a I have a Chemex at home. It's what I okay. it's my go-to. Um, but if I am gonna go somewhere, um, if it's quick, I'm just gonna run by Starbucks. What would you get? Um, usually just I'm simple when it comes to coffee. I don't like a whole lot of stuff in it, so it's just either if it's not scorching outside, I'll just get a Grande Pike's Place with a little bit of cream. Um, if it is hot, um, they have this new cold brew with uh, like this sweet cream that they're it's doing. Awesome. It's really, really Solid. good. That's what yeah. I've been going through lately. It's all over my face. <laughs> uh, are you a breakfast guy? Yeah. What do you do? Eggs Benedict. Uh, where? Anywhere? Anywhere. Okay. Anywhere. Do you have a go-to place for dinner? Not necessarily. Um, I try to cook as much as I can, which isn't too much, but I enjoy a nice steak, so somewhere where I can get a good steak. Lastly, we usually ask people that are from somewhere else, if they could bring something from their hometown. But this is your hometown. I throw a bit of a curveball. If you could bring something from South Korea here, what would it be? Person or thing? Thing. Thing. Well, Korean barbecue, since we're on the topic of food, Korean okay. barbecue is really good. Um, really? I found a couple spots here. Actually, if you say one of our go-tos, that's probably, if we're going to go somewhere a little different, that's definitely where we go. Where would you go? It's called Sizzle. Okay. Uh, so they just opened a location in Old Town right off of Scottsdale, and I think it's third. It's kind of the, the south end of that mm -hmm. strip. Yep. Um, and they have one in Desert Ridge, too. That's, that's Originally, we found that one, and they just opened up this one. We're done. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Marilyn. Yeah, no worries. Really appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate it, yeah. Still to come, tomato, tomato. Christian Walker's got some interesting takes on his least favorite food, except when it's the key ingredient on his favorite food. We'll try to make sense of that next. I'm not gonna no, thank you. You're an interesting man. You played for a year in Japan. Did you, did you turn into a sushi guy at all? I did. What's funny is um, I lived about a block away from, um, I guess they're conveyor belt sushis, okay. where they, the, the belt just goes around and you can pick your sushi off of it. And I walked by it every single day on my way back from the ballpark, my way to the ballpark, and I hadn't had sushi once in my life. And I saw that there was like standing room only, only there, so I needed to figure out like what, what's good about this. So I tried it and, be, and got a big taste for it. So sushi's probably one of my favorite foods right now. I'm not peaking with food. I love sushi. Oh, really? Yeah, I love okay. sushi, yeah. Every time, if, we, if I can 
eat sushi like at least three times a week. You haven't found the place to go to yet here, have you? Hero, over, uh, it's about maybe a mile from my home. What do you get? Uh, three spicy tuna rolls. Okay. With soy paper. You do know you do it. That's okay. my workhorse, love it. I've been able to go to different sushi spots. Sushi sen. Hiro sushi. Sushi sen, Hiro sushi. Toyama. And Toyama. Good? Good. Good. All right. Are you a pro at sushi or are you still trying to figure it out? I don't know. I just like sushi. Just I like, like a little bit of everything. Okay. No spicy. I don't okay. like spicy. Right. If I were lucky enough to have dinner with you, a Japanese meal, what would you suggest I have? McDonald's. Night he said McDonald's. What? He said McDonald's. <laughs> What's you? It's good. <laughs> I've had enough of that. Somewhere nicer than that. So no like you that sushi sen to ka. We'll probably go to Sushi Sen or Toyama. Okay. All right. It's good places. <laughs>
the more I've learned about nutrition over the years, it's just something I've, I've learned to do without. And now I really like the taste of coffee without it. So always black. Um, I'll mix it up though, iced hot, Okay. you know, add an add extra shot, all of it. Do you have a place that you go to? Just down the street here, uh, Street Coffee. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think it maybe on 7th. Yeah, I go there. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's really good. Yeah. That was uh, when I was staying downtown, that was my go-to spot. Um, out, out in Scottsdale, uh, I like press, oh, yeah. uh, I like cartel. Um, I, I, keep a, I keep a good rotation. Sounds like it. Lastly, if you could import anything from Norristown to here, what would it be? Anything. Outside of my mother. Um, good call, by the way. I would import, uh, so there's a deli in that area. <laughs> Actually, bakery, Corpolis Bakery. Okay. Um, there's only like two or three facilities in that area that I know of, um, but it would be probably a Corpolis tomato pie. Ooh. It's that's that would be it. A tomato pie. Yeah. I've tried to explain it a lot. It's the easy way is pizza without cheese, but it's not. It's that's a different crust. It's almost like a focaccia okay. bread, like a softer dough, and then a, like a fresher cold tomato sauce on top with just some Parmesan cheese. You know what's interesting about that is you wouldn't put a tomato on your sandwich. No. But the one thing you take from Norristown is a tomato pie. Tomato pie. pie. And, and a, a, a raw tomato is, about, is the only way I won't eat a tomato. I'll, I'll eat even like a chunky pico or a, a tomato sauce. I love all of it. Just a tomato by itself. I'm not going to no, thank you. You're an interesting man. Thanks, Christian. <laughs> My pleasure. I appreciate that.